Hey guys, what's up? It's Shizu Young, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play your IMVU on your MacBook. So today I'm going to be showing you that step by step, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to check your MacBook version if it's compatible, and my MacBook version is compatible. Go on about this Mac and check the version, which is 10.15.7 macOS Catalina for mine, as you can see. And down below, you can also check if it's compatible, as you can see the system compatibility on the Google file compatible list and it completely works with mine so it is compatible and it's also compatible with Windows and Linux version. Go ahead and click on the download file and while you're waiting for the download to finish you're going to want to install another app called Play on Mac. This second installation is the most important and a must to download because this software allows the IMVU app to work on your MacBook. And since we're working on converting the Windows IMVU version into a playable Mac version, you will need to download this for it to work. So just go ahead and click the 4.42 version because that's the version compatible for the 10.15.7 Catalina. And once both of the installations are done, you're going to need to load the Play on Mac first and then download the linked file of the IMVU onto the Play on Mac for both of it to work and while the Mac while the IMVU is running um, both of the apps will need to be running so that means while IMVU is running the Play on Mac will also be running if you quick quit Play on Mac IMVU will quit if you quit IMVU Play on Mac won't quit it'll just stay the same so that's just how it is so now that we have both of the apps installed, you're going to need to load Play on Mac. And while Play on Mac is up and running, you're going to need to click Install a Program. And click on Install a Non-Listed Program. And click Next. Click Install Program in a new file drive. Click Next. And put, the, put a name. Without any spaces, put a name. And then click Next. And click Next. And click 64 bits Windows Installation. And now that's done, you're going to click Browse and select the file, click Next, and there should be a pop-up, yep, and before you click Cancel or click anything of this, do not touch it, immediately go into your System Preferences, go ahead and go into System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, and then click Cancel, and click Allow Anyway. Make sure that the App Store and Unidentified Developers are selected, click Allow Anyway, and now click Next as this pops up, which means it's about to work. Click install, and now it's running, copying, doing its own thing, click finish, while it's completed, and now it should be able to work. As this one says, while it's scanning the drive, you're gonna click on view client, click next, choose a name, now view god mode, and now what you're gonna do is, I don't wanna make another shortcut, we already have the name, we already have a shortcut, and now you're gonna run it. So while it's running, this is going to pop up the hot 4 IMVU T4D God Mode Client Everything Free. That's totally normal. That's just the crack version of the black market version. Meaning it's going to work and it's been working. And now you can see that you can log in. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in and load into shop. And I'm going to teach you a trick. Go over into outfits. Select an outfit. This outfit you can save and wear in public and only seeable by other users that are using the black market app. Go into a chat room. It's showing you that it works. As you can see, see, it works. It's not owned. It's fully shop made. And also another trick that you can get a chat room from the category in shop, get the product ID go into your own chat room, copy the product ID, do star use, space, paste the product ID, and paste again, or enter, and now you can see the room as your own. You can invite your friends, they can also see the room, but they can only see the room if they're also using the black market app. And you can take a picture, you can do many things, you can take avatar pictures, and there's just a lot of benefits from using this. So, if you like this, please like and subscribe, and I just want to be of help and give you some useful information. 
for those who've been wanting to use iView on their Mac. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.